In New York, Mayor Eric Adams is shifting the law enforcement approach in response to a string of violence in the city. Mayor Adams announcing on CNN State of the Union that he will immediately reinstate a new version of the controversial plainclothes anti-gun unit throughout the city. This as funeral arrangements are made for the rookie officer killed while responding to a domestic call in Harlem. News Nation reporter Jennifer Bisram has more on the developments. And we are learning more about both of those officers who were shot Friday night here in Harlem. Officer Rivera being remembered as a hero. And Officer Mora remains in critical condition, fighting for his life with his family by his side. Where we are outside of the 3 2 precinct in Harlem, and you can see lots of flowers, lots of candles. People have been here all day long praying and just doing the best they can to show this precinct and this city support. Law enforcement from all across our region, including Westchester County and the Hudson Valley, at the 32nd Precinct in Harlem this Sunday. Paying their respects with food, wreaths, and any support they can, all of them bonded together by that blue line. It's very important that we do something like this because the community needs to know that although we all wear different patches and you saw all the officers here, there's probably about 100 officers here from all throughout the Hudson Valley that we're standing shoulder to shoulder, patch by patch, but we're all part of the same family. It happened right after Officer Jason Rivera's body was taken to Riverdale Funeral Home. Hundreds of first responders saluting, and these heartbreaking words from his brother in the middle of it all. all of you. Officer Rivera's family were immigrants to the U.S., and the 22-year-old was the first among them to wear an NYPD badge. In this letter to the Academy on why he wanted to become a cop, he wrote he wanted to help better the relationship between the community and police. He used to work at a local pharmacy here. He used to go to, to the church, and he used to, see, she used to see him at the church. He comes from a very good family. This as his partner, Officer Wilbert Mora, continues to fight for his life, undergoing more surgeries for swelling in his brain after he, too, was shot Friday night. Back at the precinct, where a bunting ceremony also took place this morning, the American flag is at half-staff, and people have been lighting candles and leaving flowers all day. Again, Officer Mora is still in critical condition with his family at his bedside. Funeral arrangements are now being made for Officer Rivera. In Harlem, New York, Jennifer Bisram, News Nation. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.